Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series in the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 56.5, and I kind of just played around. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just going to copy this to pad from a uh, uh, pad A1 to A3, and I'm going to hit remain. I don't want to copy anything over that might be doing something goofy. We're going to try and play this again, so or uh, perform it again. I'm going to just hit copy. So now we have it without that extra kind of noise. I'm going to go record. And I want to come back and get this selected. We'll hit record. Uh, I guess I had to wait for it to come around again. I'll just try and play something. We'll see if it does the same thing. See, it's doing it where it's, is it the mode we're in or something? What is it? Shift remain, poly, mono. Because if we play it, you can hear that gap. And then when we come through, that gap is gone. I don't know, maybe there's something weird where it's, playing the note a little bit longer and it's just causing it to go into we got gate on it just doesn't make any sense to me can we mess with the start and end of it something here where if you play chromatically record the notes and your note plays longer than before the next note comes in it's doing something weird but now that I've just pulled in the endpoint it's sounding pretty close to how I expected it to sound so something something weirds going on might be a something to do with the polyphony or something else don't know Anyway, um, I feel like there's, we can still use this. All right. Well, what I had been intending to do when I was trying to do this was let's do copy over again. We're going to hit remain so that we can tell it not to record uh, copy over that other one. Hit copy to do it. Record, record, and we'll go back to at the two, uh, three dot one. We'll do this thing. So we'll just have someone where you kind of switch between the two. All right, so we got that. Now, what I kind of want to start thinking of doing is how we build this up as a song that we can then kind of progress through. Maybe it's a, actually, maybe it's a combination of, maybe we just take either three or four and just double it up, turn it into 16 bars. And then we can start playing with the bus effects filters and things. So maybe I didn't need to do four here. Let's copy three to five. And this is where we'll come in and just do some duplicate. Go pattern edit, go duplicate. Hmm. Oh, error because I didn't have anything. So that gets us to eight. Duplicate again. We're up to 16. So now we can start doing some things like uh, deleting out. We can record in or just assume like we have like a, what do we want for the to enter the loop? What do we want to do to exit it? So I'm just going to break this down into like four bar sections as I think about it. And we'll just start... We'll just do record. So it's going to count in. And what I want to do, I'm just going to go into erase mode. And I think we don't want this at all. We'll start with just kind of coming in.
Um, why is it? Why is it playing the whole thing? Um, okay. I'm losing my mind here. Pattern edit here. This one. We want to loop over one, one to four, four. So we can just kind of go edit that. And that's not what just happened. Which is kind of weird to me. So let's come back in. We Okay, now it's just playing the four bars. Does it go past or does it loop back? Alright. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Alright. So I'm gonna get rid of these. <laughs> Try one more time. All right. So we're just deleting these out. I actually want these out too. Let's just start with some drums and some bass. And we don't even want all the drums. We'll get rid of these. All right. I feel like this is working more like I expected. Now what I wanted to do was go pattern edit to five. I want to adjust the, oops, I don't want the, to adjust BPM. I want to adjust the loop start and move on to five, uh, sorry, five one to eight four and use this to then record onto with some different I don't know why it's playing through the whole thing do I, do I need to save it or something because this doesn't seem quite right Can't record we exit so if we play it it gets committed I'll try this again a few more times but let's go into record Go to a race mode. I'm okay with having this going. I'm thinking seven, yeah, eight, one. Let's just get rid of all the drums. So that kind of gives us like a way to kind of drop into something more. All right. All right. Pattern edit. Let's try this one more time. So we want to go to 9 1. We should think about what we want to remove as an element from here, but I think we're getting there. Okay. Let's see if we exit out. Okay, it's playing. I expected. So I'm thinking, well, we bring this, some drums back in. We got this melody kind of out. I'm just kind of taking out some, erasing some random drums. That we probably need to fix the sound here. It's a little it's a little too present. And then I think what we want is we're going to drop into the end and let that go. So, let's go pattern edit one more time. So, all the, whoops, we want to start Let's see, what is it? 11? No. 13. 13, 1, 2, 16, 4. Should be right. And then maybe just at the end, we'll drop out some bass, drums, and then loop back over. All right. Record. Erase mode. 
we're starting at the wrong spot. There we go. I wonder, maybe you have to start playing it. If you start with record, it starts from the beginning. Maybe that's the thing I'm not understanding. Alright, so we've got pulled out some base. And I, whoop, something hit there that didn't sound quite right. I think it was this one. Yeah, we gotta delete this. Alright, assuming we have it, now we broke those down into four bar loops, we should be able to come back, pattern edit, and start from the beginning, go all the way to the end, and play this. So let's just see how it sounds. And then, I'm, I know this is a super long video, but then we'll bounce out. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> Come into pitch. I'm just dropping the volume. So we got 16 bars. It, we have a loop that changes up. We can kind of perform it. I'll stop it here. And I think up next we'll start figuring out how we can either add some automation effects if we want or just play it and go from there. I'll think about it. Anyway, guys, keep having fun. Keep making music. If it sounds good, it is good. And peace.